All right, y'all, we're going to compare two companies here, and at the end of the day, we're going to let you know which one is the one that we would choose. All right, man, she bought a wall, she trapped a list, and make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. There's two amazing companies that we want to bring to you because I want to help you understand how to compare companies, how to look at companies, so you can do it on your own. My goal is to empower you so that you can navigate through the stock market with confidence. First of all, let me just shout myself out because I have my first million dollar option play. That's right, man. We made one million dollars on one option play. The play cost me about 300, and, I'm lying, the play cost me $400,000. As of right now, the play is worth $1.5 million. Ah! Super excited about that. I just had to put that out there and let y'all know what your boy is eating. So make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Go check out the option portfolio so you can see that portfolio. I got that on this page too. But let's get into it, man. Today we're gonna break down Wendy's and McDonald's. That's right, Wendy's and McDonald's. We wanna check those out. But first we're gonna get into some of our metrics. Market cap, cash on hand, debt. We're talking total debt, net margin, return on invested capital, the PE ratio, the revenue, the five-year return, and of course, the dividend. Let's get into it. There's a reason why I do this for y'all because I know nobody else not doing it like this for y'all. You feel me? So check it, let's get into it. So first we got market cap. McDonald's has a $182 billion market cap. We know for a fact that they are the big dog. Wendy's has a $3 billion market cap. So one of the things that we really gonna look at as we look into this is percentages. Percentages will tell us a lot because this is such a wide gap in metrics. So, McDonald's has $4.5 billion in cash on hand, and Wendy's has $0.5 billion, so they have about $500 million in cash on hand, right? So they have about five, so we're gonna get into McDonald's. McDonald's definitely has more cash on hand. Now, watch this. Wendy's has $4 billion in debt. McDonald's has $50 billion in debt. Now think about this. Wendy's, and I'm gonna get this one to McDonald's and here's why. Wendy's market cap is only $3 billion. They got more debt than what the company is worth. Listen to that again. McDonald's has $50 billion in debt. They're worth $182 billion. Wendy's is a $3 billion company with $4 billion in debt. We definitely got to get this one to McDonald's. I don't want to invest in no company. <laughs> I want you to write it down. You should not invest in no company that got more debt than what the company is worth. That is a 100% eh, 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 eh. That is a red flag for sure. Next, we're going to talk about net, uh, net margin. So this net profit margin tells us what percentage of the revenue is profit. So 33% of the revenue that McDonald's brings in is profit, 33.8. 9% of revenue that Wendy's bring in is profit. Now let me tell you how this would have separated the two. What if Wendy's would have had a 40, right? Or Wendy's would have had a 34. Then even though that was different in market cap, even though they had different cash, that would have told us that Wendy's does a better job at generating profit than McDonald's. That's what that'll show us. But we got to go right here because McDonald's is getting money. McDonald's is getting more money. Now, return on invested capital. This tells us when the money, when a company puts money out there, right, when a company puts money out there, when that money, they can do a good job at bringing money back in, right? So, Wendy's does a 6.13, McDonald's has a 19.8. So that's telling us that McDonald's does a better job than Wendy's. Then go get the money, go get the money, come on. Go get the money, go get the money, yeah, yeah. All right, PE ratio, price to earnings. So this tells us how much we are paying for $1 of the company's earnings. Now, when companies compare themselves, again, things like this tell us what's cheaper. So Wendy's is P.E. ratio of 
McDonald's has a ratio of 21.30. Now, while Wendy's is cheaper than McDonald's from a PE ratio, I'll pay the extra $4, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, $5, which is like $4 or some change. I'll pay that extra here because McDonald's has more cash, they have a better net margin and a better ROIC and lower debt compared to them. So I'll, I'll get this one to McDonald's too. God damn. All right. Revenue. So we're looking at revenue now. Wendy's brings in uh, 2.19 billion in revenue. Uh, McDonald's brings in 25 billion in revenue. So we definitely gonna go to McDonald's. All right, five year return. Five year return. Wendy's had a five year return of negative 13.31 percent. McDonald's had a five year return of positive. 23.35%. McDonald's pays a 2.54% dividend. Wendy's pays a 6.06% .06 dividend, but McDonald's dividend is actually bigger than Wendy's. This is a god daggone clean sweep right here, y'all. This is a queen sweep. And I'm gonna make it green because it's a queen, clean sweep almost how Boston did Dallas. I really think Boston just let Dallas win that game so they could bring it back in Boston and win. I don't care what nobody gonna say about that. Now listen, let's talk about some things again. Market cap, McDonald's is bigger. Cash, McDonald's got more on hand. But I'm gonna tell you something, that's not a lot of cash for how big that company is. You feel me? How big that company is. You gotta think about it, McDonald's makes money from franchising fees, from where they position themselves, and watch this, not only do they make money from franchising fees, but they also get a percentage of the profit that the store makes. They double dip. They double dip it, right? So I would expect them to have more than that. So they get a percentage of the profit that the people bring in and the franchising fee. So I would expect them to have more than that, right? They got 50 billion in debt. That's cool because a company that size, uh, the net margins is really good. That's what I really like. I really like that because the net margins, we want to see that over 15. Now, I know most people are going to say 10 is good. I want companies that go exceedingly abundantly above. Exceedingly abundantly above. We want them to produce profit in abundance. Right? So McDonald's has a 33.8% net margin. I'm not mad at that at all. I like the ROIC because I like anything over 10, anything over 15 is, is amazing. They got 19. So these two are really, really, really stellar for me. Really, really stellar for me. But I'm going to tell you something. The PE, I'm not mad at. The revenue, I'm not mad at. Like, now I'm gonna be real with you. This five year, 23.35%, that's trash. I think that Domino's, I mean, Domino's 100% better positioned than Wendy's, but Domino's, you can't get my money. You can't get my investment. You know why? Because in five years, all you could give me was a 23% rate of return. That's all you can give me. So that means you telling me that companies like Shake Shack, Chipotle, Dominoes, they taking business from you. They taking business from you because in five years, that's all you could give me. That means something's slowing down. Because McDonald's is one of those businesses that does well, whether you're in the economy bad or the economy good. You never see the, you never see a line not in a McDonald's drive-through. Something ain't right right there, right? So this is right here is a. This is what I would call a. This is what I would call a. This is a red flag. That's a red flag right there. The dividend is strong, I'm not mad at that. They all consistently uh, be increasing the dividend. I like a dividend that's over 2.5. When you look at a company like, like Wendy's with a 6% dividend yield, but the stock ain't doing that well, that 2.5 is essential to me, right? So it's essential to me, so I like that. I just don't like the return on McDonald's, so I would technically Go somewhere else, man. So, man, with that, man, it's your boy, The Wall Street Tribe. But listen, tell me in the comment what two companies, they gotta be similar companies. We did AMD and Video, we did uh, Chipotle and Domino's. Give us two companies that you would like us to put to compare, companies that you may be having an issue with, companies that you really wanna break down. Let us know, y'all, I'm gonna break it down for you. We're gonna pull the hood up, we're gonna bring them in the trap. We're gonna put it on the scale for you, you hear me? Listen, man, it's your boy, The Wall Street Tribe. But listen, before we go, that is not me in the chat talking to you about Bitcoin, 
All that is not me in the chat. Talk to you about what's at me that ain't me. I don't get down like that, man. It's your boy, the Wall Street Chapman. Make sure you turn into our show each and every Tuesday called Trapping Tuesday. Salute. I'm out.